All right, so really quick, we are going to go over how you can customize your hot sheets as well as your market watch. So to start, what we're going to do is in hot sheets, we're going to go to this customize button. And then we're going to select the hot sheet that we would like to edit. So I'm going to stick with residential for now. And we're going to go to edit criteria. Now, this is something that I have already um, played with a little bit. So in my last hot sheet, I wanted in flex, I wanted new listings, price decreases and increases when it went under contract, when it was back on market, I wanted to know when it closed and I wanted to know if something got canceled. Um, and because of the area that I live in, I really only wanted to know about stuff in Bigport, Columbia Falls, Kalispell, Lakeside, or Whitefish. However, you can also do this with county. So if you would prefer to put Flathead, Lake, Lincoln, uh, Missoula County, whatever works for you, you can put all of that in here. And then once we have adjusted all of the criteria that we want, we're just going to go down here and hit the save button. And it'll let me know that my hot sheet has been customized. Now, let's, I'm just going to go through and do it again with um, lots. So you can see in lots right now, there's only Columbia Falls, Kalispell, and Whitefish. I also want Big Fork. And I will also want Lakeside. And then as of right now, it's new listing price decreases, increases under contract. I want to know if it went back on market and I want to know if it closed or canceled. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save again. And then if you do commercial sale or commercial lease, you can go ahead and make those adjustments. Um, same process. We just hit edit criteria. We put in the criteria that we want to know. And then where we want. So I'm going to put Flathead County. And that's it. So you can just continue to go down that list for hot sheets and do the same process. It's a very similar process for a market watch. So we're over here. What we're going to do is go to um, customize. And um, from here, you can set it up the same way. I wanted to know everything that's happening in this area. By the way, hot sheets and market watch are very, very similar. So if I go back to that page, you can see that in market watch it's going to tell me the new listing price decreases price increases all of the information that i want in this um that i entered into my hot sheet is actually available in this uh, market watch and you can adjust for today 24 hour three day or for the week whatever you want um you can also flip between residential lands lots commercial etc uh, in this particular case, maybe you want to adjust hot sheets and utilize it for specific subdivisions. You can technically do that with hot sheets, um, but just remember that subdivisions are not a required field in matrix. And so you're really depending on.